Hello guys, Ozone TCG here. Uh, I am Sean, and today we are going over a MNT replay. Uh, this is round two, I believe, and I'm with special guest. Tarachi. Yeah, Tarachi. Uh, Tarachi here played in the past few MNTs. I think he actually top eight it, right? The last one? Uh, 16. Oh, 16, yeah. You were piloting your uh, Orcus deck. Yeah, my, my Link Karibo-less uh, Orcus uh, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, so today's matchup, we have uh, Halfmas versus Thank You Base God. I believe it is Despia versus Modolce. Do you know anything about these decks, bro? Uh, no idea. Oh, sick. I'm just, I'm just here to watch them play some cards. Okay, bro. Uh, yeah, I believe Thank You Base God is playing. Oops, let me turn off the sound on that. Thank You Base God is playing Modolce while Halfmas is playing Despia. Uh, Despia has basically Shadals, but like they're oh, not every Shadal monster to brick finally. And Madolce is like, I think he played when Madolce was a playable deck before they got. Uh, I did, but I haven't read any of the new cards. That's fair. This is tour guide. Uh, yeah. No, that I know what that one does. All right, so I guess we'll get right into it. All right, so starting off with Madolce or Halfness is going first, playing Despio here. Uh, we are gonna see Branded Opening come down, so, since you don't know what the cards do, I'll just give you the quick rundown. This discards a card to summon a Despia from the deck. Uh, you're locked on the yeah. Fusions for the rest of the turn. Then this one adds, a uh, yeah, Branded one adds... Spell Trap from Dexter Hand? Yes, correct. It's also, like, okay. a Bootleg or Rose, Sky Strike or Rose. Okay. Uh, so this one's gonna add a spawn trap, and then the one in the graveyard is gonna search for fight for patchwork, which is basically a plus one. It adds polymerization and a edge monster. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, cool. I know what some cards do. Okay. Yeah, you're not a complete boomer, you know. Understandable. So we're gonna add Despia Theater of the Branded, which is basically another fusion spell that floats when all your fairies die. Okay. Uh, we're gonna fuse here. Turn this into a, I imagine, Masquerade. Yep, Masquerade is, uh, you know that Red Eyes monster, the XYZ, that burns for 500 every time you put an activate to card or effect? Yeah. That's what this is, basically. Except for Metal you. Yep. Wow, the uh, power creep, holy shit. <laughs> it also comes back, but it won't have the burn effect when it does that. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna see uh, Dramaturge come back here, which is a floater when it's used for a fusion summon. Uh, I also believe it has a negate effect. You don't really see it that much because most branded lists don't play the card anymore. Okay. I guess it's like an effect failure thing? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. So he's just passing on Masquerade and Stramaturge. I guess this is like fairly standard. Did he, so, so did he, I guess he drew both his chains? Like, because he, he didn't activate Patchwork. Yeah, I, I'm assuming they only play... Two chains? Yeah, two chains with three poly, or specifically this one. Because otherwise, yeah, this doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, yeah, so I assume, I, I assume the two Patrick's are dead. Yeah, uh, Raigeki here is going to not be able to clear the Masquerade since opening in Graveyard is a uh, protection effect, too. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! nowadays, everything needs to have two effects. Yep, so opening since we're coming out. He's not even going to opt these Regeki, interesting enough. Oof, having to summon putting this from hand. He's going straight battle phase? Interesting. Does he know that Elever has a graveyard effect? Okay, so Putting Sword is going to activate the Papa card. I assume Masquerade is the target for this. Oh, he let it go through. Interesting. I wonder why half is didn't protect that. Uh, okay. Send the dragon torch out. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're getting Glass Buffet. This one is one of the newer ones. You detach one to make a Modolce monster unaffected by monster effects. Does, does the Pudding Cessor make the other one a level, level 4? Yeah, uh, so whatever you summon off her, it decreases the level of the card you summon. So Pudding Cessor becomes level 4. Okay, okay. Yeah. Magdalene is going to add Angela. He did all this without the normal summon so far. And, and is that... The, the, the Xyz is like a DD Crow effect, right? Yeah, so uh, if a Mononoshi card sends to the graveyard, you can shuffle non-targeting two cards in the graveyard's back to the deck. 
This okay. is how you also recycle hand traps. So, like, if you have Valor or Ash in Graveyard, and you have the Field Spell, for instance, on the field, uh, it can actually just put the hand traps back in your hand. Oh, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, seems like Masquerade Burn is still active. I'm surprised he isn't, like, trying to get rid of this card. Um, hmm. Is he going to burn himself out? Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> Tiramisu? Okay. Okay, so he's making Tiramisu unaffected by monster effects for the turn, but he's paying so much life points to do all this, so I don't know if it's worth it. So he's, he's already down to 1200? He's yeah. already down to 1200, yeah. Okay. Uh, is he gonna shuffle back there? He should have a field spell in the jungle. Okay. okay. Yeah, he didn't. I guess he did. Although, didn't want uh, the... I don't like. Uh, Half Mist, like, literally has nothing, right? Yeah, like, it's just Patchwork plus Chain, and then Oliver's coming back from the graveyard, apparently. Uh. Take it once, a lot too. So yeah, these are both mandatory, so they both have to activate first. Uh, Alibur in the graveyard is targeting a monster in the field to negate and summon itself back. Interesting. Yeah. Bless if I... Oh. Okay, yeah, he would have the option to do Glass for play chain like three. Yep, so... It's unfortunate because he still has the level five, or the rank five to go into also if he wanted to. Well, yeah, he sells Angelia. There's just so much gas coming from Thank You Base Gods Field. Yep, so this one is, I believe it protects all your spell and trap cards. As long as it points to a Modul Chase monster. Yeah, this is a pretty okay. correct fielder though. And he's just passing on this. Interesting. I'm curious what happens this play is. He can have the option to make Verte. He also has Patrick effect, or not Patrick. Effect. So, so he could he not add with a, a Luber instead of negating there? No. So uh, a Luber, you can only use one of the effects per turn. So it's either you have to on summon add a card, or it's the graveyard effect. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, oh, so the, the the bring it back and to get a card on the field is one effect. Yes, it's all one effect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it looks like uh, the burn just didn't matter. He just could play through it, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that's unfortunately, you know, two patchworks and uh, two uh, chains. So, or I guess it was two chains. Two chains and a patchwork. Yeah, a chain and a patchwork. Mm -hmm. It was just really awful. Yeah. This hand, yeah, it's just literally just Neo's fusion pass, right? Yeah, uh, but this actually does a lot because you could uh, dump Tragedy and Neos. Uh, Tragedy will add Alibur. And you can normal Alibur. Yeah, bring in a red for follow up. So this still plays into Guardian Chimera. Uh, well, sets up Guardian Chimera, I mean. We'll see if he does it. Thank you, Facebook. Does Neos Fusion shuffle back the monster at any point? Or no? no. Oh, it stops. It's uh, You can banish it from the graveyard to stop your monster from getting shuffled back if you wanted to. But okay. this new one doesn't shuffle back anyways. Alright. So we're seeing Brandon and Red or Brandon opening, so this should be a dead giveaway that he does have red. What's the what's the trap card he said? It's strike, right? Yeah, it's strike. So uh okay. Brandon opening someone's from deck. He's probably gonna use this to get mask uh not masquerade, ad libitum on Lyric's turn. Uh Brandon yeah. Red is a pretty crazy card. It lets you add back <laughs> any Brand or Despia card or Albaz card. And then so if Okay, it's good to quick play. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. It's like Revolt, basically, but on a spell card. And yes, great. I mean, that's uh, it's really good, yeah. Yeah, it'll re-trigger uh, Tragedy, too. And the major card you need to watch out for is Guardian Chimera, which came out in Battle of Chaos. Uh, everyone will be seeing it a lot once the Alvai structure deck comes out, but basically you just uh, either pop one, draw two, or pop two, draw one. Card's nice. Okay. And you, and you make then you make like multiple the multiple those in the game. Uh, you could yeah. Off red and red. Brandon red just makes it really easily. Okay. Uh, so we see a really weird hand here. I imagine he's gonna. The kaiju's not really that useful here. And I really think he should have probably ash something beforehand. He had prime opportunities still. Um, putting Cesar is gonna get ashed. That's pretty painful, but he has small world. Did he did he just choose not to ash the Neos Fusion? Like yeah, did he open it? He just didn't do it? Uh oh. Okay, yeah. oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. He's going battle phase here, okay. So I imagine he wants to uh, proc ticket. 
Summoner, yeah, so he's gonna swing into Elver. Yep, this is gonna swap. Ticket's gonna search for Magellan, I believe. Oh, yeah, Angeli, right? Uh, okay, yeah, Angeli, that works too. Look at you, little Madolce expert. Yeah. All that Orcus practice, I guess, Fado. Yeah. Um, Angeli's gonna come down to the field. On normal summon. Alright, so this is where we're probably going to see Chimera. I don't think he has a response to it. He's going to chain opening. This is where you probably chain Ash if you had him. No. Yep. And he's strike. striking it. Okay. I don't know if it actually okay. matters for you to strike it. But, yeah. We're getting it. Does Brand, does, is Brand opening this cover cost? No. It's a fact. It's an effect? That's, that, that's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, it is. Pretty good. So he's yeah, gonna vanish yeah. two from hand, one from field. So Chimera's gonna draw two, pop one, and then all these are gonna trigger. What are the materials for Guard Chimera? Uh, you need to. It's three monsters with different names. One of them has to be on the field. At least one has to be in hand. Okay. Okay. So you can't super pull it. So Dramaturge is gonna come back. He's gonna draw two, and then Angeli's getting popped, and probably going back to deck. And he just has follow up for days. I don't know how Lyric beats this. Did he. Oh, 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 oh so it banished the material so he doesn't get chain effect. Okay. Oh, wait, no, did, did he discard? He did, oh, yes, he, he discarded chain. chain to. Yeah, he discarded. Discarded chain, chain and then ban banished the chain as well. Do you do? Yeah, he uh, he discarded chain off uh, braided opening. Did he, just not any, did he just not add anything off of it? I don't think he did. I think he forgot. Actually, oh god, yeah, that's what's confusing. I guess it literally doesn't matter, but I was, I was confused why he didn't get it. Yeah, he just effect. never triggered it. Yeah, it, oh, he liked okay. that. Well, he drew Patrick anyway, so winner. It's cute. just flex, flex flexing on him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so moving on to game three. That was a pretty quick game. Yeah, we got a total of uh, four turns uh, out of game one and two. So, yeah. a pretty good game so far. Uh, really, see... uh, really, really, really uh, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I see. Base got opted to go first, but he saw him pink with off. Interestingly enough, half miss with the twin twister and the bell. Uh, Bell's actually so... pretty good versus Badolce, I think. So did he? Did he opt to go first and the, but still keep in pink with off? So yep. that's like that's what happens. Kind of that's uh, pretty odd. Very I mean, uh, maybe he's gonna attribute some of it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. So, Prosperity for 6. These are all some pretty good options, actually. He has Saloon, so... Grabbing Magellan here is pretty good. I think he... But Gelato and Hook Cake in Hand are just kind of like bricks, right? Yeah. Um... Like, this is, this, is actually, this is actually almost a zero card hand, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um... Like, like it's, it's really close to it. Oh okay, yeah, so Angelia at least is gonna make Hoot Cake live at the bare minimum. Yeah, like it gives him something to play with, but he's gonna it's gonna get uh he might actually veil the Angelia on summon, but he does he doesn't really care. Yeah. So, but he should wait he for the hoot cake. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's that's, that's actually good to play there, waiting for what what he's gonna summon. Yeah, okay, Valor again. Uh, because they're all they're all hard on the turns so you want you don't wanna give him. So this play is super hard into Bell here. He doesn't know he has it, of course, but we're probably about to see him come down. Because it's not costing yeah. for Hoot Cake. Yeah, it's not. Did you just let it go through? Wait, you just let it go you through? You just wait. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, does he not know? I... Oh, is, no. is, there any, is, there, is there anything you'd save it for? I, I don't believe so, right? The uh, XYZ, well, that even does I guess the trap card also gets hit by it too, but you can play around it sort of. Mm. Maybe does he need it for fusion material? Uh, maybe actually. Well, I don't think Elver plus Earth monsters do anything, so maybe not. Maybe he want, maybe wants a card to discard for twin. I'm not sure. True. Um, seem, but it's but it seemed but I don't know. It seemed like a good opportunity to use it. Well, Elver still gets you brand opening, I guess, which makes another monster. But that's still like he's discarding so much off it. Yeah, I guess I guess maybe he just wants more guards to have for the twin. Uh, but I mean, you you already you already saw you already, you already saw the petting sister and and you saw the hoot cake like he he will have no plays if you did stop the hoot cake, so 
it's definitely like pretty odd to not stop it. Well, I think he's really there's, no, there's no there's no other extended motion motion you can have at that point. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think um, he's ending so like, on the trap card. I think he's saving Bell for that, but that's still kind of like awkward. Yeah, I uh, I don't think. Yeah, I I, I would have just felt the uh, yeah, personally. Big. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is he gonna make the Link Monster and play into it? Let's see. Yeah, so he's making it on like monster, so the bell will be able to hit Provided, which is good. That's the only disruption he has too, minus uh glass for play shuffle back. Oh, that's a pretty good top deck. Yeah, okay, so gives him basically two like like he he needs cards to discard and he drew them. Yeah, he drew a really good card. This will search when it's integrated by card effect advantage. Yeah. yeah. Um so this goes through it's probably getting oh he's getting Death via theater, okay. Uh Theater is gonna activate. I wonder if we're gonna see a promenade come out from this. Oh, he lets a walk. Okay, cool. Sure. Okay. Thinking about chain link two. Huh. You can't twin twist or any of this. Yeah, it's like literally just the set card, and you don't really want to do that. Yeah. So you know what it does. Huh? Don't. Yeah, don't so twin twist. I think card. yeah. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Okay. Cool. You let walk. No, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sweating a little bit there. Yeah, Masquerade's coming out. We're gonna trigger the effect of Tragedy to search for, I imagine, Dramaturge or Ad Limitum. Okay, Dramaturge. Polymerization coming out this time. Polly? This could actually make Chimera, which is a pretty big one. Uh, well, not Chimera anymore, because Promenade's gonna force out the bell from him. Um, yeah, okay, Bell's coming out. And there's the bell. Yeah. What is and he's gonna targeting? go... Uh, it wouldn't really do much here, right? Yeah, well, it's gonna shuffle back uh, the Dramaturge in Graveyard, I believe. Yeah, I think that's pretty smart. So, uh, what's gonna happen is he's gonna summon a monster. Uh, this is gonna activate the shuffle back. Uh, since half his sister and player, they're gonna have to activate Dramaturge first. Oh, oh, does, oh, does, oh, does the, the, the glass will activate on a new chain link? Yeah, it'll activate a new chain like the shuffle, so. Okay, okay. Another pretty smart player. Um, he's making Cordalus this time, which I believe actually is one of the worst cards in the game. Let's see. Change everything to a zero attack that's not level 8 or higher fusion. And then if it ever leaves a field by a card effect, uh, you can switch someone to Albaz or Despia. Okay, yeah, that's immediately getting shuffled. Oops, my bad. So we're gonna see Dramaturge get shuffled back. And then he's gonna chain uh, Masquerade to summon itself back from Graveyard. Interesting. Okay, it goes back to hand, so long and ticket will trigger now. Yep. Uh, he shouldn't take burn damage, I believe. This only works when he's choosing something. Yeah. Okay, I hope he notices that. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, yeah, he let him know. I don't know what this does, though, for half this at this point. It's looking like a really bad position. Is he is he locked into fusions? Can he, like, are they both on the lates? Uh, no, he's not locked to fusions. Is there, is there any rank 8 you could take? Yeah, Rod and Gearsu. Yeah, it's Rod and Gearsu, let's go, Orcos. Yeah, uh, putting sister. It looks like there's just way too much advantage on the Moldoshi side. This Twin Twister is yeah, really, really I, good. Yeah, it's... I, I, I think just not belling the Hookake there might have, might have sealed the game for him. Yeah. Yeah, just, just like, just like, wait, like, you, there's no way you can kill him through all his Moldoshis, and he'll just, he just has a ton of follow-up this turn. Leaving main phase, so Fang's is sort of zero attack right now. Why is he attacking Sisto? Does he know? Yeah, so this card has an effect where if it will die, you can shuffle Madoshi back to the deck instead. And I think he realizes now. This is way too much value. Yeah, and uh, he'll be able to summon those Banker Tops next turn as well. Yeah. And Tribute Summon Bell. Since the new ruling changes, this won't trigger uh, if it gets shuffled back by a Tiramisu, so... It's looking like this is just game. This is level 4 also. Uh, what's he doing? Verte? Oh, please be Verte. Oh my gosh, it's Verte. Oh, shit. Alright. There's, no there's, there's no TP. This is the Neos Fusion he's gonna use? Yeah. Oh wait, is he actually making Neos Fusion? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, Neos. yeah, I think. Just one time. Oh, oh shit, oh, oh, wait, maybe. Uh, okay. I don't know, I don't know. I Like his hand, his hand is just too good. Like, I don't, I still don't see it. So, what does this do? If he goes 
monster. He shuffles all this back, except for... What do you target with this is actually the real question. I think he targets self, right? Uh, yeah, he targeted itself, so the XYZ will stay, but all of this will go back. Yeah, but he, but he has the hitting suspense sword and the hook kicker follow up, so Wait, I, I don't know. Trigger only? Oh, they have to be by a. Oh no, these do trigger off of it. That's funny. Well, wow, that's quite unfortunate on his end. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he might such. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 having the chat. He knows it's not. A well, on the plus side, if it somehow gets to it, this could be protected by Dio's fusion, and then there's like, an over. Yeah, so like if he can't, um, yeah, like the only way is if he can't kill him. Yeah, it's too much advantage. Pretty pretty low. Yeah, just way too much card advantage. Oh shit, the Pinkertops! <laughs> Put in so much work there, bro. Oh um, yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I, I don't know, like that like his his opening hand was just was just not playable at all, but the prosperity given Angeli, like I think yeah, just like belling the hook kick there probably would just ended the game. Yeah. Um, that was that was just, that just made the difference there. Um, unfortunate. Yeah. Uh but you know th th this game almost had three turns, so pretty close. <laughs> um yeah. like six games total, but you know, uh, I, I put it at six and a half, honestly. I, I enjoyed that game. One crucial misplay, but it was pretty... Almost even, we'll say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that was it, basically. Uh, this is round two in the MNT. Karachi here will join us later for another round soon. Uh, see you all.